Today we're talking about the history of Skull. Now, the word Skull, the name Skull, what the tits does that mean? Does anybody out there know? Have you ever always wondered what the hell does Skull even mean? Well, I got an answer for you. It actually derives from over in Scandinavia, way over there in, where's Scandinavia? Like China, Russia, Wisconsin, something like that. Um, so it, it derives from Scandinavia, and in Scandinavia they have a word called skal, or S-K-A-L, which means a toast to friendship and brotherhood and well-wishing and all that other good stuff. So, the, when they were building the company Skull, they said, well, we're going to take sk the word skull and we're going to put it into English form and call it Skull. So that is how the name Skull got to be and on our beautiful cans today. With that being said, we're going to jump right into the history, so stay tuned. Yeah! I did a few polls on my Twitter, my Instagram, and, uh, and my Facebook and stuff, and I uh, was wondering, all right, I'm going to be making this skull, uh, this skull history video. What should I dip? You know, it's important to dip something important. It's important to dip something important. <laughs> and most of y'all said do the original. Now I was pretty much going to do this anyway, but I picked some up to do for the skull history video. We got some skull original fine cut winter green, the original skull. So. It ain't, it ain't cracked. Oh yeah, don't forget, um, this product will kill you. Don't forget about that. You wanna take a little pinch, Waylon? Ah, mud jug of the day. We got the red Mr. Creepy mud jug. Mm. If you guys don't know what mud jug is, of course, there's been a couple new mud jugs come out and you see this beautiful array of mud jugs behind me. I do have a lot of them. I think I'm up to like 65 or something like that. But today I chose the Mr. Red Creepy for the video. If you want a mud jug like this or some of the ones that I got back here, go to mudjug.com and you can get yourself one. The greatest spittoon on earth. Doesn't spill, doesn't smell, easy to clean, and it can even be used as a sex toy. Don't tell anybody I told you that. I. I'm gonna cut that out. All right, we're gonna jump right into it here. Skull history. Now, Skull is probably the number one most popular company out there. Sells the most product out of all the other ones, and um, we got a lot of product to go through. There's a lot of history with Skull. I don't have the exact dates for some of these that when they were brought in or when they were discontinued, so bear with me throughout the video. I'm gonna do the best I can. I do know a lot of history by heart, so we'll see if I can remember most of everything. Now, if y'all haven't seen yet, I made a history of Copenhagen smokeless tobacco video that did very well, and um, I talked about how George Wayman started you know, Copenhagen back in 1822, and it was the first really smokeless tobacco of his kind besides snus overseas, and uh, without George Wayman creating Copenhagen, there would be no skull. There would be no grizzly, there would be no tobacco whatsoever, or, uh, you know, smoking I mean, there probably would be, someone would catch on eventually, but as for right now, we all gotta thank George Wayman. Let's give it up for George Wayman. Um, rest in peace, sir. What am I doing? I don't know. What am I doing with my hands? As Copenhagen was blowing up way back in the day, in the early 1900s, they decided we're gonna come out with a new brand called Skull. I told you where the name derived from earlier, and this is what we do now. When I'm using, when I'm showing these cans on camera and stuff, these are the old cans without the warning labels and stuff. So, you know, you're gonna see older cans. So don't think that I get cans without warning labels because I do. But these are just older cans that I'm saying. 1935. It started off. Skull came out. Skull was like the um, Copenhagen was kind of like the uh, natural, you know, more manly shit. And then Skull came out and said, "We're gonna, we're gonna bust these boys with some flavor." And they did. In 1934, they came out with Skull Wintergreen. Now, back in the day, I don't even think they called it Fine Cut or anything like that. They just had one brand of dip. They didn't have Long Cut or Fine Cut or nothing like that. It was just all Fine Cut, pretty much. That was dip, you know? There wasn't cuts and shit like that. So, 
Skull Original Wintergreen Fine Cut uh, that we see now today. This was the first dip Skull came out with in 1934. Now the Wintergreen put a lot of taste in, in people's mouths back in the day and stuff like that. And coming into the 80s, that's whenever, um, I still remember, like, I, I wasn't born yet, but I still remember, like, uh, watching, like, old school YouTube videos and stuff of, like, uh, the Regis and Philman show with, like, old, uh, Re Regis and Philman. Regis, Regis, and, Regis and Kathy Lee, I think it was, way back in the day. And, uh, they had a couple, like, bull riders and stuff on. And, um, whenever Skull Bandits came out. The Wintergreen was kicking by itself for about 29, 30 years or so, and they decided to come out with the Skull frickin' Bandits. Skull Bandits Wintergreen, which this is, and Skull Bandits Mint. Of course, if you don't know what Skull Bandits are, they're the little pouches. They were like the first ever pouches uh, of anything. The pouches of today are a lot bigger than what Skull Bandits are. Skull Bandits are a lot smaller. They have 20 in the Bandits cans, and I think they only got like 15 or something like that. I don't know for a fact, but they got more in the Bandits cans because they're smaller. So 1983 is when they came out with the Skull Bandits Wintergreen and the Mint. Now. This was the big boom of smokeless tobacco during uh, the early 80s, 1983, 1984 was the big boom. They started sponsoring NASCARs, they were on TV all over the place promoting it for safer than smoking and all these different things. And that's when they decided they were going to release some long cut flavors. They already had the Skull Wintergreen Fine Cut, but they wanted to come out with a longer cut. It was easier to pinch and um, you can put a pinch between the cheek and gum without no trouble at all. Now, with all the long cuts, I don't know the exact dates on when each of these came out, but in 1984, they came out with a few different long cut flavors. Like I got here, we have Skull Long Cut Wintergreen. We get the Skull Long Cut Straight. These were the first ones to come out. Of course, the Skull Long Cut Mint and the Skull Long Cut Spearmint. A pinch better. I love these old cans, man. I miss them. I hate these new cans that they got. I don't like them at all. Also, you can't forget the Skull Classic. Beautiful Skull Classic. And they also had this. A lot of you guys haven't seen this or haven't dipped this before, but this is definitely old school uh, Skull Key. A lot of people ask me what a Skull Key tastes like. What is it like? Um, skull Key is very, it's pretty much as natural as you can get. What I've been told through different Skull representatives throughout the country is how they would make Skull Key is they would, before adding the flavor to different dips like the winter greens and the mints and all that kind of stuff, they would take all the extra um, tobacco scrapings that they didn't flavor and stuff like that and they would put it in a can and they would call it Skull Key. That's what I've heard. I don't know if it's true, but um, Skull Key is pretty much, it's just plain tobacco. There, there's no flavor in it. There's no whatsoever. It's just, it's just plain tobacco dip. There's, there's nothing to it, you know, so that's Skull Key for you. This is in a plastic can and that was, that came out with all the long cuts back in 1984. Now, of course, you guys are always wondering, Skull's mostly known for their flavors that they have. Now, these weren't, these, these did not come out in 1984. These came out, I believe, in the late 90s to, they came out periodically between the late 90s to probably around 2007, 2008. In between that 10 year mark, these are when all of these came out. Now, I believe one of the first ones that came out was Skull Cherry. Skull Cherry Long Cut, that's one of them that came out between those 10 years. They also had Skull Peach Blend, Skull Berry Blend. A little FYI on this, this stuff made me sick for like two weeks after I did this one time. Disgusting. I can't even stand the smell of it, it's just gross. Skull Vanilla Blend, and I know that this came out, I remember when they came out with this, this is Skull Citrus Blend. I remember when they came out with this, they came out with this I believe in 2007, I think it was, when they came out with Skull Citrus Blend. Because I remember it saying new on the can and stuff like that. I'm pretty sure this came out in, um, it was like mid-2007 and this came out, so. Skull Citrus Blend was the newest of the Skull flavors within that 10 year mark of the late 90s to about 2006 to 2007. Oh yeah, can't forget the Skull Apple Blend also. Can't forget. Now, a couple years after Skull um, Citrus came out, they came out with a Boulder Wintergreen that was gonna blow everybody's minds, and it did for a while. It got really big and um, it's not around anymore, but we're talking about Skull Edge. I believe this came out in 2008, I'm pretty sure it came out in 2008. I had a video on it that uh, is doing pretty good at 180,000 views on my other channel, Outlaw Dipper, that um, Skull Edge back in 2009, I think it came out about a year before I made that video, so Skull Edge 
about 2007, 2008 areas when this came out. So all those dips that I was talking about were all the flavors and dips, long cut and fine cut dips, that were out in about the 2000. Six, seven, eight area. So that's all the dips that were out in that time period. Now they also had a very rare dip that was around and they had Skull Snooze. Now I know there's new Skull Snooze out today, but back in the day they had the Skull, um, they had Skull Snooze and they had Skull Dry out. And they came in like little rectangular, rectangular, rectangular packaging and um, they were the little pouches and stuff like that for, for like snooze like. In the Skull Dry series they had Skull Dry cinnamon flavor, they had Skull Dry um, regular which I think was just the mint and Skull Dry menthol believe it or not they had Skull Dry menthol flavor or whatever. And for the Skull Snooze they had Skull Snooze cinnamon and Skull Snooze mint and I believe they had a Skull Snooze wintergreen too. And Skull Snooze citrus but I think the cinnamon and the citrus were the biggest that, that were selling the most at that time. Now, all what I just talked about with the Skull Snooze and the Skull Dry, those came out in that 10 year period too. Between the late 90s and about 2007, they got discontinued in 2008. Oh, and I don't want to forget, if anybody out there, you guys remember a little dip they like to call Skull Frost. They had Skull Frost out there. Now I don't have, I used to, this is back when I didn't save my cans and stuff like that. Skull Frost was like a, a mix between mint and wintergreen. It was like a very, uh, it was like a splash of mint and a splash of wintergreen, and uh, it was really good, actually. I really enjoyed it when I had it. Um, they kind of, if you've ever had Timberwolf Cool Wintergreen, that's kind of what it tasted like. It wasn't too great, but the tobacco, you know, the pinch ability and, and the flavor was a little bit better than the Timberwolf Cool Wintergreen. Um, but Skull Frost was out between that period, too. Sorry, I don't know the exact dates. It's really hard to find dates and stuff like that online for when these happen, and my memory isn't that great, but I do know that Skull uh, Frost was discontinued in 2008 also, because right when I started making videos, um, the end of 2007 into 2008, that's when they, they stopped making it, and I remember uh, making a couple videos on that, being like, oh, they just discontinued, discontinued Skull Frost, I can't make a video on it, so. Now, before I get to any more dips that come out, I'm going to go through the dips that I just went over. Some of them have been discontinued, like... This Skull Key I was talking about, Skull Key I was talking about, um, some people can still find it in different places, but it has been discontinued. It was discontinued in 2011, and um, you can't really find it much anymore, and um, you know, it just wasn't a hit seller, they had to get rid of it. So, 2011, the Skull Key was discontinued. And also, I still hear a lot of people that talk about this Skull Vanilla. Believe it or not, I thought this was actually a pretty good seller between all the different Skull flavors that they had. Skull Vanilla was discontinued in 2011 also, and um, hasn't been seen since. I have seen a couple people that have gotten it some places, but um, if you go to your local tobacco store or gas station or Walmart or whatever, you're not going to find this Skull Vanilla around anymore. Now, and I believe it was 2008 is when these came out. They came out with Skull Apple Blend pouches. Skull wintergreen pouches, they had Skull mint pouches, um, uh, Skull berry blend pouches, and Skull citrus blend pouches. The apple berry and citrus blend pouches that I have here were discontinued in 2011 also. So those are completely gone. And that made way for the Skull Extra series. Now I don't believe I have any Skull Extra cans here that I have, but um, there's probably some in the tower here somewhere, but I just, I wasn't a big fan of any of them. I tried them and stuff like that, but they weren't really that good, but they still do have them out. They came out with four Skull Extra, um, they came out with four Skull Extra flavors. They came out with Skull Extra Wintergreen, Skull Extra Mint, Skull Extra Crisp, and Skull Extra Rich Blend. Now they came out with those in the long cut version and the pouches version for all of them. So all together there's eight, there's the, you know, there's the four flavors, you got long cut and pouches. And the four Skull Extra flavors that they, they came out with, the four blends that they came out with was released in 2011, that's when they discontinued the, that they pretty much discontinued a whole bunch of stuff and then they came out with the new Skull Extra series and stuff like that to kind of put them back on track for the pouches series that they have. Also in 2011, um, Snooze was getting pretty big, you know, Camel had their Snooze series come out, Marlboro was coming out with their Snooze series, and so Skull was like, we're gonna come out with our own Snooze. And they came out with Skull Snooze Mint and Skull Snooze Smooth Mint. I have yet to try these, but I'll probably make a video on them uh, here in the, in the near future. Um, but 
They should be pretty good. Of course, the snooze, they're spit-free pouches. And when you look at them, they're not like the, they're, you know, they're white portions. They're not like the big, heavy, soaked in tobacco juice and all that kind of stuff. They're spitless, so you don't have to spit with them. You can just swallow the, the, the flavor goodness of the Skull Snooze. Last but not least, in early 2012, that's when they came out with the Skull Ready Cut series. They came out with Skull Ready Cut Mint, Skull Ready Cut Straight, and Skull Ready Cut Winter Green. And of course, if you don't know what Ready Cut is, this is an old can, but they're basically little logs of dip that you don't really have to pinch yourself. They just come in little blocks and you can freaking put them in your lip, no problem whatsoever. All right, y'all, I think that about sums it up for the skull history. That was a lot of freaking dip to go through. And I might have missed something. If I did miss something, call me an idiot in the freaking comments for missing something and then tell me what I missed. I hopefully, I think I got mostly everything. Most of the important stuff, anyways. Um, I haven't heard anything about new uh, Skull flavors coming out, but uh, I do, I mean, all these big companies are going green nowadays, right? I'm just waiting for Skull. We're going green, ladies and gentlemen. New Skull Carrot Blend, Asparagus Blend, and Broccoli Blend. New with fiber to lower cholesterol. you imagine that? Like, oh, I'm sitting at home. I'm 480 pounds sitting on this lazy ass couch, and I'm just going to start dipping freaking Skull Carrot Blend, and I'm going to lose freaking weight. <laughs> Silly bitches. But today we are doing the Skull Original Fine Cut Wintergreen. Definitely a really good dip. It's not as bold as the, the regular Skull Wintergreen, but it's definitely like a dark, rich tobacco taste with this Wintergreen. And we're kicking it old school today with the Skull Original Fine Cut. If you want an adventure, you start dipping Fine Cut, ladies and gentlemen. You guys know I'm a big Copenhagen Snaff fan. Uh, the Fine Cuts, you know, if you haven't had a buzz in a long ass time, um, try some fine cut. You might get a little bit of a buzz. Um, you know, it, it definitely it definitely helps in the buzz category. A couple things before I go. Don't forget, I do have the brand new long sleeve Keep It Frickin' Hillbilly Confederate Camo merchandise on my website, keepithillbilly.com. Confederate Camo, looking sick as tits. It's got the Keep It Frickin' Hillbilly logo right there. Keep it a hillbilly 24-7, baby. So we do have the long sleeve available and the short sleeve, of course. And um, the hats and the beanies, uh, I've got a beanie right here. The hats and the beanies are sold out at the moment. I did just order more, so they will be in soon. Of course, it is getting a little bit uh, warmer outside. It's still, it's still freaking, it's still a little bit cold here in, in SOMO, Southern Missouri. But, uh, it's about to hit summer. I'm, I'm excited. We just skipped spring. We're going right into summer, pretty much. So, if you do order the new Confederate Camo merchandise off of KeepItHillBilly.com, if you order a shirt, until they're sold out, whoever orders, I'm going to send you a free signed dip can from my tower. I'll sign it out, lull, and keep it freaking hillbilly and send it to you in the mail with your with your order. So, go over to KeepItHillBilly.com, get yourself some sick as tits merch. Of course, if you're big into social networking, you can follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Instagram, ladies and gentlemen, it's blowing up. Instagram, you can follow me on Instagram. All my handles for all my social networks are Live to Thrill TV, just like my channel name. So check me out on there. If you need the links to them, they are below in the description box. You can click on them and follow me over there. I appreciate you guys tubing into the history of Skull Smokeless Tobacco. My name is Outlaw, repping a little bit of Waylon today. Thank you guys for watching. And always remember, name's Outlaw, keeping it hillbilly 24-7. But always remember to keep it freaking hillbilly. Ugh.